Good evening. Welcome back to The Pass is Alive. Thank you for tuning in. Tonight, I'm going to be doing a mail day video. I've got a bunch of packages in the mail today. I'm going to open a couple of them tonight, and I'm going to save some probably for the weekend recap. A bunch of different boxes and online purchases and stuff of that nature. But tonight, I'm going to open some, thing that were sent, some things that were sent in by subscribers. And we also have some mysterious packages that were from eBay that I'm pretty excited to rip open. And a box full of cards from our buddies over at uh, the YouTube channel, Stemmer's Hits. But before we dive into all that fun stuff, I want to share with you a card that came today from Jacob F., a subscriber here on YouTube. Jacob F. hails from Wisconsin, and he sent me this very cool thank you card. Thank you so much. And upon further inspection, says thank you for the content you provide every so often i come across a card that i think you'll enjoy when dennis cook needs a break i'm sure james colburn could step in <laughs> and who is james colburn you might ask <laughs> this is james colburn this uh crazed raleigh fingers uh scum stash imposter this card is absolutely amazing i i uh Really lost it whenever I opened this earlier, but uh, SSPS 1975, in amazing condition. James Colburn was a pitcher, and man, is that an intimidating face up there with Dennis Cook's 93 upper deck. So when Cook needs a break, we will replace him with Colburn. This card is absolutely amazing. I love it. That needs to go in the background. For the remainder of the video, James, thank you so much for thinking of me and sending that over. I probably never would have seen that card if it weren't for you. That is absolutely epic. James Colburn. Next up, I think we're going to do mystery packages. These were an eBay purchase, about $20 a piece. I came across these. Super good deal. And this is a set that I've been trying to put together for a while. Inside of here... Most of you guys probably already know what this is going to be. We're going to have 10. We should have 10 cards. And they are in top loaders. What could they be? What do you think, James? 91 tops. I see Steve Balboni in the back. And that is right. They are Desert Shield. I've been wanting to put this set together for a while. I've been slowly, you know, um, slugging away at it here and there. But... Kind of took a hiatus for a while, but I came across these. I'm like, they're only 20 bucks for 10 cards. It's like basically $2 a piece. It's a great deal. Now, the only thing that worries me about Desert Shield, and I'm sure you've heard me say this many times, is that uh, you know, they only printed like less than 4,000 of each one of these cards in this set. Maybe even less than 3,000. And there was all kinds of counterfeits and phonies that just completely flooded and saturated the market. So I'm definitely skeptical uh, when I buy these. And that's kind of why I stopped... Uh, buying them and putting this set together for a while because I don't necessarily feel super comfortable buying them off eBay because you know they could be very well be counterfeits. But here is John Franco, the gum stain on the back of him, and I, I'm not really sure which ones I'm gonna need in here off the top of my head. I have about almost half this set put together in a binder, so we have John Franco, and there are ways to tell and determine if these are actually legitimately uh, real. Uh, Desert Shield cards. Obviously, the emblem on there for any of you guys that aren't familiar with these. There's Mike York. That card always creeped me out. I always thought he looked like an alien when I was a kid. Steve Jeltz and the seller on eBay, he said he does add in Hall of Famers to random packages here and there. Steve Jeltz kind of looking like Pascal Perez a little bit. Darnell Coles. But even regardless, $2 a piece for a common Desert Shield card is still a great deal, I think. so. Mike Balecki been seeing a lot of him lately. I think we saw like two or three of his cards in um, Desert Shield Packs. These are in nice condition. Or not Desert Shield Packs. <laughs> I wish. In uh, the Jam Packs box. These are in nice condition too. So far from when I see the centering on a lot of these is, is decent. The corners are pretty sharp. Mark Salalaz, as Eric and I used to call him back in the day. We used to hate him for no reason. And probably because of his last name, Mark Salalaz, we would taunt him. I don't think I had that one. I, a lot of these aren't uh, looking super familiar for me, so it could be a great sign. There's Jose Mesa. Alvin Davis. Marty Barrett. And Steve Balboni. 
I'll have to go through my binder and see which ones I need, but uh, definitely a lot of fun, you know, hand collating sets on your own. See what we can find in this next one. What inspired me to put that set together or start putting it together was uh, the old honey hole, which most of you guys remember or know about. Whenever the vendor there sold me, what was it, like 250 of those for like 50 bucks? And they were primarily common cards, but uh, there, there was like a Sosa in there, Barry Larkin. Like there was some random Hall of Famers and stars mixed in. So I was like, wow, 250 of these. This is actually somewhat possible now. Now, if you find a wax box of Desert Shield, I don't really know what they're going for now because they're pretty scarce. So the only time I saw one in person, it was like almost $9,000. So packs of Desert Shield, typically around 100 bucks a piece, 100 to 125 somewhere in that range. We have Danny Gladden leading off here. And John Candelaria. I know I have that card. I'm pretty sure I have three of that now, maybe even four. Because I have that in my doubles pile. Julio Franco. But yeah, these are definitely uh, in nice condition. Can't complain at all. Dennis Rasmussen. Tom Foley. There's Kent Merker with a $19 tag on him. That's got to be from the early 90s. Jay Howe. I can't wait to go through and see... Uh, which ones I need and fill in the blanks. There's Dan Wilson with a $40 tag on him. Sean Dunstan. And look at that one. That's pretty awesome. That's a nice hit right there. Carlton Fisk, all-star card. Freaking awesome. I guarantee I don't have this one. Thank you, thank you, thank you for these, uh, these Desert Shield cards, man. This is awesome. More than likely, I'm probably going to end up buying more. This is, It's so much fun to go through and put sets together especially ones even binders and you can fill in all the blanks that you have but major hit right there hall of famer carlton fist with a hundred dollar price tag on him super awesome can't thank you enough man super fast shipping i have to try to drop a link to your uh your ebay store on there man thank you again and james colburn is pretty stoked about that fisk i'm stoked about all of them i think the condition is great you can't beat it for two bucks a pop. The last piece of mail that I have for you. I mean, I got tons of mail, but I, I want to show it to you now. But I think I'm going to save it. There's some pretty cool and rare stuff. But um, the very last box that I got is from Stemmer's Hits. From Todd and Timmy. You guys may recognize Stemmer's Hits. I know um, you may have seen Stemmer's Hits in the live streams here and there. Maybe you're even subscribed to them. If you're not subscribed to them, you need to be. They are at around 550 subs right now. It's a father-son duo, and they're always ripping open product. So I appreciate you guys sending this. Todd told me he was going to send something here soon, and uh, I ended up getting it today. It's been at the post office for a while, but... He knows I'm from outside Pittsburgh, so he kind of gave me a heads up that um, there's probably going to be some Bucko stuff in there. And I did pull this note out already, and I read it. And I'm not going to read it on camera, but um, very, very nice note. Todd, I appreciate uh, all the kind words that you wrote in there, man. And uh, I am beyond pumped that you got your son into collecting. It's a great thing you guys have over there. I hope that you'll continue to make videos for years to come. And I hope you that's watching this will go and subscribe to stemmer's hits i'll put a link in the video all you have to do is click on that link and that'll take you to the channel and hit that subscribe button turn on notifications and catch your videos they're always posting on the weekends always ripping product new and old both and um it's a great uh father-son duo over there you guys are awesome it looks like we have a bunch of mixture of like a hodgepodge of cards in here i see some packs that look like rack packs that looks like 89 score whoa all right so i'm just gonna said to start over on this side so right off the bat we have a 1988 tops rack pack david cone's second year right dead center darnell coles i was stoked on that card as a kid and we have eric davis we actually had a great luck with the 88 Tops rack pack the other day. Pulled the Glavin 
rookie out of there, the Outlander error card. We got Bobby Bow in this one, 89 tops rack pack. I don't know if I want to open these. I think I might save these for now. Hopefully, you won't be offended, but uh, I love to collect boxes and packs as well. So I, uh, I think I'm gonna add those to my unopened pack and box collection. Very cool stuff. I don't have any either one of those rack packs uh, in that in that collection right now. So it's perfect. Bunch of singles in here. We'll start with this stack as long as James Colburn approves. <laughs> Jose Guillen, Leaf Rookies and Stars. But anyways, I'm sure most of you guys know that uh, from outside of Pittsburgh. So we grew up praising and watching the Buccos. There's Tim Wakefield, second year card. We were super pumped on him around this time. 1993 drill play. That probably had some value to it back then. Probably worth a few bucks. When he first came on the scene, he was all the craze. Look at that Mike Trout from 2021 Top Series 1. I like that design. I'm, I'm, I like this design better than uh, 2020. I think it's cooler. Never a bad sign seeing uh, Mike Trout, Trevor Williams. And a Buccos team card. Check that out. I haven't really seen any 21 tops except for that uh, pack or, or the one pack open on a jam pack box. Some turkey red rookie cards here. Always looking for rookie cards. I have a rookie box. That I stash them all away in, and every once in a while I'll go back through it and uh, see if there's any big names or guys that went on to be big names. And look at that. Luis Robert Big League. I know for a fact I did not have that one. That is very, very nice. Thank you so much, guys. This will go directly in my rookie box. Super cool. I don't know if I've ever even seen this one. I think I had a couple of his like parallels or subset cards out of Big League from 2020, but uh, definitely not the base a uh, rookie that is awesome we got some packs here 92 upper deck prize we got kyle abbott on top here i used to love 92 upper deck I used to buy so many of them kyle ripkin jr diamond skills i thought those were really cool i see a manny ramirez rookie card coming up next klesko it's a second year card for him his rookie's 91 bowman but i will always love this manny ramirez i think it's an awesome card and up until like i don't know what they're at now but PSA 10s of this card were like less than 20 bucks like a few months ago. And I should have bought some of them. I mean, there's probably thousands of PSA 10s of this card. But when I was a kid, I used to like that one a lot back in like the early and mid 90s. So I'd like to own a 10 in that. Nolan Ryan base. Very nice. There's Griffey, most exciting player. Awesome. Ted Williams. Some people are lucky and they've pulled the autograph ones out of 92 upper deck. I don't know if I'll ever have that kind of luck. And then a Ted Williams hologram. I never owned this card before. That is sweet. Very, very cool. I think that was like the short print, kind of like the Hank Aaron short print in 91 upper deck. They had a couple short prints in 92. They had Deion Sanders, the Deion Sanders card. Then they had the Tom Selleck, Frank Thomas short print. It was like SP1 and SP2. And I think this was a short print too, I think. Could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, that's very cool. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. Jim Tomey, second year card for him. Star rookie. Very nice. Always like that one, too. And Pedro J. Martinez. And speaking of that short print, there it is right there. Pedro Martinez. Very nice. And uh, to be honest with you, I don't think that I have this one. And I, I, I want to say I was just thinking about getting this recently. I might have it somewhere, but not to my knowledge. And this is... Like I said, a set that uh, is pretty nostalgic for me because I used to buy a lot of them. And I you, I pulled the uh, the Frank Thomas, Tom Selleck out of a pack. Actually, two out of them, two of them out of the same pack before. And was like so pumped as a kid because it was like a ten dollar card back then. But I never pulled this out of a pack. I was like I should buy that at some point and uh, just to have it because I always wanted it as a kid. I never owned it. So thank you very much for sending that. We got some 89 Bowman reprints here. Richie Ashburn. That's a rookie card I'd love to track down. Richie Ashburn. Oh, he's on top. And then we got some actual Bowman base here from 89. We'll be seeing these coming up here in the Bowman break. And too long for now. I think it's five weeks. It's too long to wait. We should move it up some. <laughs> I always like 89 Bowman, no matter what. I know they're kind of hit, hit or miss with most people because of their oblong shape. But um, some of the first cards I ever owned is Pedro Guerrero. 
Chet Lemon, Dave Smith, Wally Joyner, Jim Rice. Very cool. There's some nice rookies uh, in this set, too. Tino Martinez. Tino Martinez really only has two rookie cards in 88 traded, and then also in this set. There's Hall of Famer Burt Belilevin. Bob Boone looks absolutely pissed. <laughs> Bob McClure. Dwight Evans. Randy Myers. Robbie Alomar. It's his second year card to him. I mean, we'll pull the Griffey Jr. rookie out of our break. Donnie Baseball. Always nice to have his cards. John Franco. And then a Jackie Robinson reprint. That's a rookie that I'd love to have, but that uh, might never, ever happen. Fernando Valenzuela. Some clean-out guys that I talked to at a flea market over the summer, they said that they came across... Um, I forget what it was. 48 or 49 Bowman set. And there was like a pristine Jackie Robinson in there. And they, I think they ended up selling it for like three grand. There is the Alomar family inside the TV. I used to like those a lot too. Griffey, Senior and Junior. That old school TV. And Andy Bennis, that was a hot rookie card back in 1989. Very sweet. Pack of cards there. And Jesus Alou. 1973 Tops autograph. Check that out. So the sharp looking 73 also. There's an 89 rookie card of Dwight Smith. And we have some tops for, I think these are 2020, I think. Yeah, they're definitely 2020. There's a fire parallel. Aaron Judge. I haven't seen too many of these except for um, random ones that people have sent me. There's Yamamoto rookie card. Eric Hosmer. Cool design on those. Reach in to get the next stack out and check this out. It's Batman the Animated Series cards. I feel like this looks familiar. Poison Ivy. I don't know if these fold out or what. I can't remember. They definitely do. I'm going to leave that intact for now. But 95. They're Batman and Robin cards, actually. They did make Batman the Animated Series cards, but they are they are pretty sketchy because they brick up big time. Like, worse than 93 upper deck big time from what I've seen. There's Cameron Maybin. We've got some Topps Chrome. Update. Logan Morrison, I haven't opened any of these yet. Rich Hill, I haven't even seen them on the shelf yet. Tinoco, rookie card. Chris Bryant, all-star game. There's a Mike Trout all-star game. Very nice. Joey Votto. Brock Holt. And Acuna, his PSA 10 rookies are still pretty affordable. Sotos have gone crazy, though. That's to be expected. Ozzie Smith. Fresh out of a rack pack. 87 All-Star from 88 Toffs rack. Hank Aaron, who just recently left us. Rest in peace, Hank Aaron. One of the best to ever do it. Alan Trammell, 88 Toffs. Record breakers from Benito Santiago. That was probably a hot one back then. There's Sandberg, All-Star card. Joel Youngblood from 81 Toffs. These are like early 2000. Yeah, 2007. Ultra. I'd like to open a box of those someday. That's a cool design. Canvas collection. Paul Goldschmidt. I've never seen these before. 2019 Topps Museum Collection. That's pretty sweet. I know a guy that PCs uh, Goldschmidt. And Papel Bond's rookie card. I didn't have that one either from Alan and Ginter. Very cool. I get one a lot. Alan Craig. Brandon Barnes rookie card. Rigetti, these old early 90s classic cards. Dykstra, Luis Mendoza, with the 59 tops design there from Heritage. There's Todd Hunley. I would have loved that one as a kid. Dean Palmer, 92 tops black gold. These are one per pack. Chad Matola was like a decent one back in the early 90s too. 93, 94 when, that, when those came out. Raphael Dolis, rookie card. A lot of rookies in here. You guys know me too well. Kevin Newman. Renowned rookies. This is numbered out of 250 from Bowman Platinum. That is a sweet card. There is the San Diego Chicken. <laughs> That's a funny one. Mitch Hanniger, gold card with the 83 tops design. This one's numbered out of 50, it looks like. 17 out of 50. Very sweet. Alfonso Polito, 85 Donruss. I don't ever see 85 Donruss too often. Adley Rutschman. That's, that is freaking awesome. Bowman Chrome. 
Definitely did not have that one. Add that to the rookie box. Aussie Albies. Didn't have this, this one either. This is some sort of uh, Tops insert, I believe. I've never even seen this card before. Look at those big chops. And we have some Deckle Edge cards, I think, from 1969. Looks like we have Ron Santo on top of here. I think I have one of these. Maybe. If that. Ron Santo. I picked up his rookie card a couple years ago. The 61 Tops. Usually, I don't know. I think I got I forget how much I paid for it. I think it was a good, a good deal. It was like 25 bucks or something like that. I think these are 69 right? Could be wrong. It doesn't say on the back. Jerry Kuzman, though. Jerry Kuzman rookie card was actually 68. Shared with Nolan Ryan. He looks <laughs> super depressed or bored on there. And we have some play ball cards on here, too. Willie Mays. Whoa. Jim Fergosi and Tom Holler. Howler. Very cool. Like I said, I think I might have had one of those Deckle Edge cards, and that's it, if that. So that is freaking awesome. Play ball Willie Mays. Love it. Claude Osteen. Double play. Is that Jim Lomborg? I think. Tommy Davis. Looks like. Tim McCarver. Very cool. He's not a rookie card I need to pick up. And Richie Allen. Very nice. Great condition on a few of those. Very, very nice. Love it. Dave Parker, former Bucko. 91 Bowman. Joker Joe. These are baseball's biggest gross outs, I believe. I don't remember that one, though. Joker Joe, Bobby Witt Sr. Looney Lyle. Yeah, I think they made two different years or series of those cards. That's <laughs> that creepy Shane Andrews card. I don't know if he's stretching or scratching his back with the bat. I always thought he was scratching his back. Rusty Armor. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen this version of these. There were stickers. Um, I have two boxes of those, but I don't I, I don't think they're those ones. Eric Christofferson, rookie card. And we have a relic here of DeGrom. Very cool. Love it. I actually just bought his rookie card um, not long ago. I guess I ruined part of the weekend recap by showing you that, but it's one I've had on my list for a while. Back-to-back -back Cy Young Award winner Jacob deGrom. This is from 2019 Tops Update. Very, very cool. Love it. And we have one more stack to go through here. This box has already been amazing, guys. Again, check out Stemmer's Hits. Get them to 600 subs. They're like at 550, so... You're not sub to them. You're blowing it. Click on that link and uh, make it happen. Sad sack sell. <laughs> That's pretty great. Javi Baez. Another all-star game relic. I actually just bought his Bowman rookie card from 2015 because I didn't have it. I think it was like 3 bucks on eBay or something like that. Free shipping. I couldn't pass it. Hogface Homer. Very cool. Greg Aquino from Don Russ Team Heroes 2004. That one is numbered out of 150. We got Righty Whitey. Yount, 82 Donruss. Very sweet. Benny the Blah. <laughs> That's like with the uh, the old cards that Eric used to draw. That would be what Terry Pendleton looked like. Because we hated Terry Pendleton. Especially Eric. For beating Bonds out for the uh, MVP. And I think that was 92. Move on, rated rookie card. That was definitely a hot one back in the day. Still like that one a lot. Chipmunk Chuck. And you have Lou Brock and Henderson. The stolen base leaders. 91 upper deck card. That was always a cool one. like that one a lot too. And a 1975 Topps card of Reggie Jackson and Pete Rose. Freaking sweet. And we have Luis Robert. Rookie, deb rookie debut from Topps Chrome Update. I did not have this one. Holy crap. Very, very nice. I've never even seen this card until right now. That is epic. I, <laughs> I don't want to ruin the surprise of that last card. Check that out. Luis Robert, rookie debut. Number 58 of the update set. Whoa. That is going directly in the rookie box. Thanks again, guys. This has been uh, too kind of you. And we have an unopened pack of, I think, yeah, 89 score. 
I don't see these rack packs too often. John Smiley, look, look who's on the top. Oh, man, that is awesome. Sabo, that is excellent. I cannot open that. i got to add that to my unopened pack collection, and I think everyone probably already saw what this final card is, but um, it looks like a Tiffany, but I don't think it is. I think it's a reissue, and it's a Bob Walk with a 90 Tops design. Tops Archives, that is freaking sweet. I love these cards. I think they're so awesome. Pretty cool uh, signature. Bob Walk. That is awesome. Joe's Card Corral. Shout out to you. I'm sure you will love that one. Freaking awesome. Todd and Timmy, you guys are the best. Thank you so much for sending all that. You really did not have to. I uh, really appreciate that. Uh, check out Stemmer's Hits. Let's try to get them to 600. And uh, tune in and check their videos out. Like I said, they're always ripping open cool stuff. And I feel like they got the hot hand every single time they open anything. They are always pulling crazy hits. So you got to check them out. Show them some support. And thank you to everybody else that sent um, packages in. <laughs> I.e. Uh, James Colburn, new personal favorite. And uh, drop me a comment down below. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed the video. What your favorite thing you saw in the video is. I love to hear from you. And, um, of course, thank you very, very much for watching. I will see you all next time. Have a great night.